Megan, regardless of how the nomination process ends, we know for sure that it won't end until at least June 7th, the day of the last GOP contest. There is no realistic way for any candidate to get to 1,237 delegates before then. And the truth is, unless something miraculous happens, only Donald Trump has a path to actually hit 1,237. So the first scenario is very simple. Donald Trump goes on a roll, hits the magic number on June 7th, and becomes the nominee. The second scenario would be that Donald Trump falls short of 1,237, but in the 45 days between the last primary and the start of the convention, Trump is somehow able to gather up a enough unbound delegates to push him over the top. But that would mean the GOP establishment would have to coalesce around Donald Trump in the hope of avoiding a contested convention. Scenario three is the one Ted Cruz is hoping for, and that's a contested convention where Donald Trump loses on the first ballot and then delegates become unbound. And because the Cruz campaign has been very effective at going state to state, courting those delegates on the second ballot, they dump Trump climb on board with Cruz and make him the nominee. That might please some of the GOP establishment like Lindsey Graham, Jeb Bush and Mitt Romney, but it would infuriate Trump supporters, which could lead to chaos in Cleveland. Scenario four goes like this. GOP party leaders decide to propose new rules allowing other candidates into the mix, maybe paving the way for someone like Paul Ryan. But in that scenario, Trump and Cruz could fight back by creating an alliance and pooling their delegates, even setting up a Trump Cruz ticket. Scenario five, we could call the Carl Rove scenario, looking for a fresh face on the presidential ballot. Listen. If it's somebody who, who has, you know, um, has those convictions that they can express in a, a compelling way, we could come out of the convention in, in relatively strong position. And the idea there is to stop the bleeding, to find someone who may not beat Hillary Clinton, but would at least get Republicans to show up and vote to maintain control of the House and Senate. If you think Cleveland rocks now, boy, wait till July. Wow. Thank you.